Now, you know, the chances of having quintuplets is actually one in 64 million. That's amazing. Dr. Brian McDonough has been following the Miarelli family's preparations for the big day. He was with them early this morning for the birth. Doc? Well, I'll tell you, Jill Rich, I have seen many remarkable things in medicine, but this is the most amazing. Quintuplets are so rare, there are only 30 known sets. The reason the odds are so high against them is because it's almost impossible to carry them far enough into pregnancy to deliver them. Teresa and Tom Mirarelli have allowed us to take this remarkable journey with them. It is the only time television has ever done this with quintuplets. The children are still not named, but let's meet them. Baby A is a boy, two pounds, eight ounces, born at 1225 this morning. Baby B is a two pounder. He's a boy and he was born at 1226 AM. Baby C is a girl, two pounds, two ounces, born at 1227. Baby D is two pounds, 10 ounces, He's a boy and born one minute after his sister. And finally, baby E is a two pound, two ounce girl and was born at 1229. Mom did very well. Uh, she's resting and recuperating quite well. 23 hours ago, things weren't this peaceful. It was an incredible scene as medical teams whisked the five babies into the neonatal intensive care unit. But it is just one dramatic part of a remarkable story. Teresa Miarelli increased her odds by taking a drug called Perganol. She already had a two-year-old daughter, Olivia, but was having trouble getting pregnant. The drug caused her ovary to release five eggs at once instead of the normal one. Each egg united with a different sperm, and the result was five separate embryos. When we first met Teresa and her husband, Tom, she was 17 weeks pregnant. At that time, she joked about her situation. Well, I wanted a big family. I just necessarily planned one all at once, but... <laughs> You know, we have faith that with, with whatever is going to happen, that, that God will help us to, to deal with it. Three weeks later, Teresa experiences an incredibly rare feeling for the first time, viewing all her children on an ultrasound. She allowed us to share that moment with her. So you would have one man here, there's a body of the second, there's a head of the third, there's a body of the fourth, and coming up here, this is the sack of the fifth baby. For a while, Teresa is able to stay home. Despite the extremely high risks associated with carrying five children, she is encouraged to stay home and is able to do so thanks to this monitor, which allows her contractions to be measured. Her greatest risk is premature delivery. But when she is 25 weeks pregnant, Teresa is admitted to Abington Hospital for strict bed rest and careful observation. It is now a serious waiting game, putting off the inevitable and buying time. We certainly would like to see her get at least a 30-week gestation. If we can get her to 30, 32 weeks gestation with quintuplets, that that's, uh, would certainly be considered a success. Well, Teresa's about 30 weeks now. Actually, she's 30 weeks in about two hours and has been doing very well, but there's been some change in the fetal testing, and because of that, we feel it's best to get the babies out at this point. The medical team makes itself ready for the procedure. There are five of everything, including the warmers and resuscitation material. Teams of doctors, nurses, and technicians head for the delivery room. Just one hour after Dr. Craparo has told us of his decision, the activity begins. And this one has to go back to One by one, the five babies are rushed into the neonatal intensive care unit. First a girl, then a boy, a second boy, a third boy, and finally another girl. It's just 15 minutes since the babies have been born, but already in the neonatal ICU, there are at least 30 people working with them. There are five babies, all 10 weeks premature, with unique problems. But after an hour of attention, it becomes clear things are looking good. Well, we have been waiting for them for <laughs> such a long time. <laughs> Finally, Dr. Craparo comes out of the delivery room. He's exhausted, but he can't conceal his joy. Uh, so it went very well. We had uh, five what looked like healthy babies there. This is rewarding. You know, it's uh, one for the good guys here. After 30 weeks of waiting and wondering, Dad now takes a second to reflect. It's amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing that uh, that that could that uh, that all those babies could come out nice or you know as as healthy as they as healthy healthy as they did.